All right, we're going to talk about this quick. Hit that like button, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Like I said, you know the vibes. You know how I rock. Get this real quick. Cardi B and Offset split. The moment it was in the news, people were already targeting her, sending things to her, letting her know they were interested in getting at her. Like you guys didn't even give her room. But understand this by the word of God. She was already married once. They're divorced publicly. I don't know if they did it officially, but the main thing that needs to be stated here, understand she's been married once already. You are not just able to put away a woman and a man put a, um, excuse me, a man put away a woman and her put him away and just go on and get married again. It doesn't work that way. God says that there's barely any reason you could break up unless there's cheating. So if she's saying she broke up with him because she's cheating, because remember in the news we saw Offset was allegedly involved in cheating scandals. If that is the case, then she is allowed. So if Offset cheated and that's why she broke up with him, by God's word, she's allowed, okay? Now, understand still in situations, the fact she was already married once, you're risking adultery, remarrying her. You have to know the word of God and it has to be those stipulations exactly. Now, if she cheated as well, you got to be careful because then it gets sticky. If she and God knows this is why you can't play games. God knows you may not know and throw your shot at her, but God knows you got to go to him in prayer. That's why it's so important to be connected to God when you're going forth in what you're doing. It's not a joke. It's not a game. It's very serious. It will be a sin against you for getting with her because you're committing adultery in the midst of her. Say she broke. He didn't do what he did, but we all know he was really messing around. OK, say he did and she divorced him and it was random. You got to be careful because now it's a sin. There are certain rules and parameters in order for you to get with someone, break up with them and move forward with your life. You got to do it by the word of God. If you do not, you risk hellfire for no reason. And I had to learn that and read to understand. Now, even again, even if she's right for how, why she's doing it, you have to really check it. What's her belief? Are you guys unequally yoked okay that's the importance of this and them guys shooting their shot at cardi b you guys aren't even giving time for that to happen this shows uh, it makes us wonder were you allegedly trying to do it when she was with him because if you were cardi i'm telling you if they were trying to holler at you while you were with him don't get with them be careful because right there speaks their character it speaks volumes that's the devil in the details may i say may i add Man, be very careful. Some of these guys are led by that warlock spirit, too, and they could be trying to draw you in to trick you up and just get to your money. Be very careful. You got to see that it's a man that has efforts that they're about it. They don't have to be rich, but they got to be hardworking. They got to be having stuff going. They got to be about something. You got to be careful. Now, the one thing I will say, Offset started off about music, doing things like that, but he got a little shaky and he got involved with a lot of different scandals. And he really brought your name down. And I know he really hurt you. So, yes, for that reason, I see why you're making your move. And if it continues, my thing is he did it once. Understand, all those sins are going to be held against him. They're going to be held against him. So he's in danger from more than just being divorced from you. He's in danger with God. God don't play about that. Yo, that's why marriage, like if you're getting married, put that ring on. Yo, don't play. God don't play with that. And I take it serious just as well. You know, like I don't plan to get married then divorce. Like if I'm going to get married to someone, I plan for it to be forever. Like seriously, like I'm not going to play around with it and just like divorce them, play around, be cheating around on them. I don't like, you know, guys think that like when we were younger, like <laughs> when I was a child, I thunk as a child. When I'm a man, I think as a man, I read that to you already in pro between going through Proverbs. And then we also check this out in the book of Ephesians, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. We're talking about this. It's not a game because here's the thing. You're you're we don't think like God. We think like humans. So when you're saying or thinking something like, oh, he's saying that you're thinking like a man, thinking like a woman. Think. Godly think in terms of the word. If it, if you know that this word decides where you go when life's over, you know, you're going to be held accountable for it. And I had to learn this. I didn't know this. I never knew this. Honestly, till this year, I read it. And I was like, I didn't know anything about the marriage laws, how God looks at marriage. Yeah, he tells you to do it by the law of the land. 
But that doesn't mean just because the land says it's okay for you to do it, that it's okay. He's not going to hold you accountable. He is. You got to put his word first, then look at the law of the land. First the Bible, then the law of the land. If it's against the law of the land, what you're doing, then you really need to check it. You got to look at how it fits in with God's word, man. That's serious on every move you make. That's a godly person. And you can't be unequally yoked. So don't get with someone who's different from you and not seeking the same things you're seeking. If you're seeking God, which you should be, everybody should be, then it makes sense because you're both in a godly nature, thinking godly, saying, look, God, I'm trying to find you. So that woman will become a help me, just like Eve was supposed to be to Adam. You'll be a help me, really showing um, God will really empower you to show that man what he's supposed to do so he can be godly for you and help you to do the things God wants you to do. It's all about God. It's not about us, not about me, not about me talking now, not about what I think. It's about God, man. That's who it's about. That's why I'm showing everybody. That's why I'm portraying it to you openly. That's why I speak on certain topics. I got mad, you know, and dropped the video that I did because I felt YouTube shaded me on my content when I had it because they approved it. Then they took it away. How do you approve something and take it away? But then they're not doing anything to these dudes who are cursing online. When I never knew that we could use bad language and not get hit. I know you can say words here and there. I watched somebody. All he did was curse. Like it was like the video should have been listen to me curse. Because that's all he did. Had ads running so smooth. I'm like, what in the world? I'm like, when did YouTube allow this? Because I remember they were checking that same person. Now, I guess because they're getting so big, they're allowing it. So I guess now they're starting to compromise with evil because the money. So you guys are going to just sell out for the money and let these dudes get up here and say whatever. Like, that's not cool, YouTube. That's not. You guys got to check that. Like, come on, y'all. Support Cardi B and all you dudes hollering at her. Be of good spirit and come in good grace. You know how I rock. All rights reserved.